Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use GeoGebra to graph a linear function, or a straight line. Alright, so I have my GeoGebra pulled up, and I'm just going to do a few housekeeping items that I like to do so students can see the screen better. Well, I don't have to have it that big, so we can make it a little bit more, so you can actually see where I'm going to type in the input line and up here. The first thing I like to do is I go to the uh, graphing canvas, right click and hit grid. So that way you can see the grid. I'm going to actually center the grid. I can use this last button here. It defaults to this first button, but if you click on the arrows going each way, then you can graph. Uh, you can move your graph around. Hope it didn't make you dizzy. Um, and then the last thing I like to do is options, font size. I like to make mine bigger, maybe because I'm old, but mainly so you guys can see it. All right, so now we have our um, graphing thing set up, so hopefully you can see it. And now I'm just going to show you how to um, do a linear function. When you're over here in this last thing, you can come down here to the input line. And now we're going to deal in function notation. GeoGebra wants you to name your line, in other words. So instead of saying like y equals, we're going to name our first line f of x okay, equals, um, and let's just do 2x plus 7 and now it's going to graph f of x equals 2x plus 7 and there I have my first graph. Now if you're in this mode again with the, uh, clicked on this first arrow if you click on your function you can right click and do object properties and you can kind of play around with it. If you're a color person um, we're going to actually graph two lines. We can change the color. I like to change the thickness just so I can see it better and really that's the main thing. Or you can come here to basic and change. So suppose I didn't like the 7. Change it to 5. It's all good. Now it's changed that equation. If you notice under here, under the algebra window, we're looking at the fact that f of x is blue, right? And that the equation is 2x plus 5 graphed right here. And now for your homework, I want you to graph 1, and then I want you to graph a second equation. So I'm going to name it something different. If I name it the same thing, it's going to replace my f of x function. So instead here I'm going to have a g of x and we're just going to make it minus a half x oh, minus 2. Okay, And now I have my second graph there, my g of x. All right. And so on here I can do object properties and again change my color. I'm going to do uh, blue and orange for my Clemson. Haha, <laughs> go Tigers. Um, here we go. That's where I went to school, by the way. So now we've changed that to orange. Okay. And um, you can see that you can real easily use GeoGebra to graph a straight line. The real cool thing is if, again, you come to this last tool, you can make uh, the viewer dizzy. No, you can manipulate um, the, the graph and move it around. The other thing I'm going to show you now, I'm not going to make you do it for the homework, but I just want to show you. If we go to the second thing and click on intersect two objects, okay, so I'm in the second window. Remember the bottom right corner is a little upside down triangle that if you click on that you get more options. So I'm going to click intersect two objects. I'm going to click on my G graph, my orange line, and then I'm going to click on my blue line, my F graph, and voila, it's intersected the two objects. Okay, And it's shown me that that is point A, and the coordinates of that is negative 2.8 minus 0.6. And as we go along and start solving linear equations, you will come to find out that that is the solution to f of x equals g of x, is their point of intersection. Don't worry, we'll get to all that. But again, where did I find that? The second box over, bottom right corner, click, intersect two objects. You click on the first item you want to intersect. You click on the second item you want to intersect. I think it also works if you want to click on the axis and then the thing and then it comes up and says that's point B. In other words, the orange line, because I clicked on the orange line, is intersecting the x-axis at negative 4, 0. Kind of cool stuff. Alright, I hope this gets you started on the homework. If you have any questions, let me know.